Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install both processors into the Dell T7500 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Please check with the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the Dell T7500. Also check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light shuts off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, slide the side latch back and the panel will pop out. Remove the panel and set the system on its side to have better access to the interior. If you have dual processors, first remove the riser board. Pull the riser board out by pulling the latch upward and pulling the entire assembly out. Detach the power cable and set it aside for the time being. Also remove the large black cooling shroud. This may require some force. You now have access to the primary heatsink and processor. Unscrew the primary heatsink and clean off any thermal paste with paper towel and rubbing alcohol. Remove any installed processor by carefully pulling back the retention pin, lifting the final processor cover, and then only touching the sides of the processor, gently lifting it out. This can also be cleaned with paper towel and rubbing alcohol. Once the processor is removed, you will install the replacement processor. Take notice of the directional marking on the processor and ensure it aligns with the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure proper alignment and snug fit. Close the processor cover and replace the retention pin to lock the processor in place. Now, apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. Secure the heatsink on top of the processor by aligning the holes on the heatsink to the screw mounts on the motherboard. Screw the heatsink down to ensure a firm hold. The second processor is installed onto the previously removed riser board. Lay the riser flat and unplug the fan's power cable. Next, unfasten the four screws and remove the heatsink. Follow the same process as the first processor. Remove the processor and install the new processor. Replace the retention pins and then place thermal paste on the processor. Screw down the heatsink and reconnect the cables to secure it in place. Now, replace the riser board by first reconnecting the power cable and then extending the handle down and sliding the board in between the grooves to ensure it connects properly. If it does not align properly, the connection will not be solid. Now, carefully slide the black cooling shroud back in place. Ensure it snaps in for a secure fit. Lastly, reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.